Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a manga collection video. I actually didn't show you guys all the manga I own. Some of them that are just like sprout around the house, I didn't show that. Anything that was new in my manga haul, I didn't show that. And I also have some manga at my mom's house. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my manga collection. We're going to... Should I start up here or down here? Yeah, I have these Kudo card books here, but I'm just going to move it so you guys can see. I have the trendmaster one and the manga version i have my original card captor sakura mangas these are all in japanese this one i had since i was a kid it's kind of a mess but the cover just like this and if you guys don't know what card captor sakura is it's a shoujo manga well shoujo anime and manga about a girl who's like 13 and she collects these basically one day she's in her basement and she accidentally opens i think the kudo book which is, I don't know why it's so hard to explain Kudo card, but yeah, she has this girl, she's a regular third grader, and she goes down to her basement, she finds this weird book, she opens it, and all these cards go flying out, and now she must collect those cards, or the, or the world may be in doom, pretty much, so, yeah, I think most people have seen the anime, the anime came out in America, and like, in a lot of different other countries, so I know it's pretty popular, so I'm pretty sure most people have seen it, but yeah, I don't know why it's so hard to explain Card Captor Sakura. But yeah, these are all Card Captor Sakura, if you couldn't tell. And these ones are. It's basically the direct, like. So you see, it's like directly, like, the card. The anime? So, I don't know how to explain these types of manga, but they're basically just ripped from the anime. So if you look at it, it just has looks like that and it looks exactly like the anime adaptation which is really cool and i have a lot of the, the nakoyoshi 60th anniversary ones oh my god why they're so hard to, ooh, it's hard to get out but i do have an, i have two of one so i guess i'll show you guys the one that's not in here and it is pretty much the first volume it's this just remastered pretty much so yeah and they're pretty I like that. And then I have my kanji books. I have a Chibi Monoko Chang kanji book and then a Doraemon kanji book. Which I should start using again, but I haven't. So, second row, which is the main manga book section. It's kind of a clusterfuck of like <laughs> stuff here, but I will still show you guys. So, here I have some Chibi Monoko Chang. They're like picture books, honestly. Do I, do I have two of the same ones? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I thought I had two of the same ones. I was really upset for a second. Basically, I just really like Chibi Monoko Chow, and so I got these. Also, I need stuff that's easy to read because I am illiterate in Japanese, which sounds crazy because I have so many Japanese manga, but they're too motivating to learn. I always realize I forget to mention, just in case people are new here, is that I am half Japanese. My mom is Japanese, and I've had manga in my life my whole life. It is grown up with me also i am currently really sick while i'm editing this so my voice fucked here on top i have for some reason a moleskin that hasn't been opened yet i have the last song which is not a manga but I'm, it's here so i'm just showing you guys i have this how is it my melody yeah it's a my melody akatsuki which is just little red little red riding hood it's a really cute little picture book I have Ore Monogatari, which is about this guy who he's like, people always think that he's like, he's like the softest person you'll ever meet, but people see that he's big and stuff and they think that he's intimidating and so people don't really want to be around him, they're kind of scared of him. And the shoujo like romance, I haven't watched this or like read this manga in a long time, so I don't fully remember the synopsis but i did really like it when i did read it so that's why i got volume one i i only have volume one apparently but a volume of inu nasha in, inu 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 asha <laughs> why is that so hard to say for me anyway i don't remember what inu asha is about honestly but it's one of those like very um <laughs> very uh classic anime yeah manga i yeah i don't remember i'm sorry <laughs> this shonen jump graphic novel it's actually my fiance's from when he was a kid 
and he's not as much into manga and anime as much as he used to be so i just kindly kept it because we were going through his old stuff and we found it so it's his mine now and it says volume one from fall and winter 20 20 wow 2003 and it's in pretty good condition i don't think he ever read it ever read it to be honest because it's in really good condition it has dragon ball dragon ball z naruto one piece sandlin i've never turned up sandlin shaman king Yu-Gi-Oh, and yu yu Hakusho. i guess it's just volume one of all of these yeah oh dragon ball that's so cute shaman king Not at all. Oh my god, back in the day when you could get the Shonen Jump magazine in America, that's crazy. I was pissed because I like to reread it every summer, so. They're not a, again, not a manga, but it's here, so I'm showing y'all. Okay. Now let's get in to this main area. I have Hanayori Dango, which honestly I haven't watched and or read in a long time an anime and a live action i've seen the live action a thousand times it's literally one of my favorite things ever there's also a bunch of k-dramas and like this it's one of those ones that has a lot of adaptations but basically i don't is it bad that i don't remember what hanayori dango is about but it's a shoujo romance i i honestly it's so bad i don't remember this because this is one of the classics i i can't hold on i should probably rewatch or read this i don't know if hanayori dango has an English um, manga release, to be honest. I like, I have no clue, but I have volume one. It does have an English translation, and apparently the physical versions are pretty hard to find, but you can read all of it on the Viz app. I do also have like a Viz, like, what is it called? Subscription, so I could like read all of it. And so I recommend doing that because it's $2 a month. I am not sponsored or anything, but it's a good way to read it if you want to save some money. I have another, I apparently also have a volume one at my mom. From one of my favorite manga in the whole wide world, Arina Tamara. Ta, tama, ta, Tanamura. Like, why can't I? I always have trouble saying his name. Her name, Tanamura Arina, which did the full, who did the full moon series. She did the Frozen 2 manga? Yeah. Uh, and she did a bunch of other things too, but she's my favorite manga ever and this one has never been I don't as long as far as I know it's not been translated to English, but it is Neko to Watashi no Suyobi Which is Cat and Eyes Wednesday. Why is it Suyobi? It's Kinyobi. Wow <laughs> Cat and Eyes Friday So I actually did read the first two volumes of this by read I mean I had my mom read it for me while she showed me the pictures because having a Japanese mom you've got to use her but the premise of this manga is kind of problematic kind of it with his cousin he, he confesses that he's in love with his cousin and we go on from there weird premise good story weird premise <laughs> have Ojama Doremi and Ojama Doremi shop and basically this is a magical girl if you guys have been here for even a second you probably know Ojama Doremi is like my favorite anime of all time probably my favorite show of all time it makes me so fucking happy this is about a girl named Doremi and she becomes a witch because she actually turns a, a witch into a magical frog called a majogairu and she has to help her change back into a witch and it's really good and there's like four or five seasons and a movie just came a new movie came out about it. it's literally my favorite show ever i'm so happy ah uh, so yeah i have all of the i have all of the original ojama jodore mi and then i don't have and i'm still collecting the ojama jodore mi sharp ones i do have three it just couldn't fit it up here so when i reorganize i i'm going to obviously put three with the rest but right now Set of mangas I have, which is one to six of Edo Manga Sensei, which I haven't even opened since I've gotten it, honestly. But this one is about a girl. Well, so basically, it's like one of those sibling romance type. What? That's that weird genre of like harem. Basically, there's a guy who is a light novel maker person, Arthur. Uh, author. I cannot say that word, but yeah, and. 
he has this per because he makes kind of like it away like sexual content type of thing and so he hires this he has hired a manga artist to do the art for his because i guess he can't do art but he's good at writing and so he has an artist and so then we find out in the first episode of i saw the show and very fairly early on that it is actually his stepsister these day can care of who is a shut-in their parents it's it's, it's 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 a lot goes on in this it's like it's a, it's a lot it's a lot in the beginning uh i don't know where this is gonna go at all but i really wanted it so i bought it in japanese i feel like the theme on this especially my japanese manga is i have it i cannot guarantee that i've read it <laughs> so basically this one is about a girl who is a closet closet otaku and basically at school she's very popular she's really cool but when she comes home she's a lazy sack of shit <laughs> and it's really i like this series but my fiance thinks it's the worst thing to happen um he hates it a lot of people kind of hate this series i like it but like i said it's very um japanese culture and i know that sounds really stupid but like some parts of it i feel like i can appreciate because of the things that happen in japanese culture because she is a teenager and once you turn 18 and you start having your own job you can't be like this and so it's like i would i would understand being like this in like 18 like before 18 like before 18 is that what I was gonna say like I would understand being like this as a teenager especially in a place like Japan so yes and yes the reason why she does hide it is because being an otaku isn't really cool in Japan so I really like this series I have volumes 1 to 10 which I'm pretty sure it the whole series is 12 volumes so I'm missing the volume 2 of the uh, spin-off series another one i haven't read it and it's volume two so it's not like i could even if i did read it i wouldn't be able to start here so i have i have it it's i got it because it's in the love jump family <laughs> do i plan to collect these probably <laughs> ebina cha is from akita and akita is where my grandma is from and so like it just and i've only been there like once before she died but like it just it just it's it just feels like weird because it's like my grandma's hometown and I'm like, oh my god, look, hometown vibes. When really, it's, it's like the middle of nowhere and I think it's just really cool that they're talking about Akita because Akita doesn't get talked about. And also, because my grandma's from Akita, we ha I ha some things that we say are very akita ben, which is just a dialect. And it's I just wanted it because I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be able to relate to something. Because a lot of people even from Tokyo do not understand what the words i said because i don't realize that dialects are very specific to the area so anyway let's put this back it's just a this one is a manga of one of the purikyo movies this is the purikyo max heart movie i'm pretty sure they had two purikyo max heart movies but yeah if you guys don't know what purikyo is it's it's a magical girl anime and every season it's a little different but pretty much most seasons it's there's a villain it's like sailor moon there's a villain <laughs> they must fight to save the world and humanity you know that kind of shit because i love that type of shit next i have i think there's only two volumes of this so i think this is complete but i have ashtano naja which was an anime i watched as a kid that i it, it, it literally is something that made me cry and so I really, really wanted the manga. Basically, this one is about a girl who is, lives in an orphanage and later on goes to set off on an adventure to find her parent. It's sad. It's sad. This story is so sad. I have not read the manga, but I'm really, really excited to because the anime, like, had me feeling things at, like, six. I, 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 it has a lot of, like, because she goes into a carnival, there's a lot of different themes about a lot of different things, and it's just like it's so it's it's a good it's a good show. Um, like I said, don't know about the manga, but <laughs> and I'm not sure if this is complete. But these were the only ones I could find on Yahoo Japan. Next is my little basic corner. Yes, I have Sailor Moon, and <laughs> yes, I do have two volumes of two, which means I'm probably gonna sell one because I don't need two volumes of two. I don't realize why I have it. I have one and two. And then one of these short story ones. Most people should know what Sailor Moon is. It's another magical girl. 
it's another magical girl themed show slash manga basically this girl named Tsuki no Wasagi becomes a hero one day am i explaining that well no but most people know what the fuck sailor moon is so yeah sorry i accidentally got and it is the new game manga but i guess so if you guys have you ever so this is also a anime and i really like the anime and so that's why i got this manga but pretty much this is the sequel to new game i thought this was the new game manga no 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 this is the new game sequel manga so i don't actually like i was really excited to read it. i started to read it this one i actually started to read and then i was like this doesn't make any sense it has absolutely nothing to do with what the anime went through no no i just bought the wrong one <laughs> and i bought this in japan so this is just the manga version two because i don't have volume one I like, if you couldn't tell i really like magical girl there's a big theme of magical girl on this one so yes we're gonna go to my next shelf coming from this shelf shelf and yes i have a lot of toys and i have to move them as, and in order to do this video i know oh God. <laughs> i collect <laughs> so before we go on i do collect children's like junior novels like disney channel books so i have a bunch of those we're not going to go through those but i also have the buffy omnibus volume one it is just a comic book of buffy <laughs> and let's go into some more of my manga Yes, I have Edo Manga Sensei Volumes 1 and 2 in English. That means I have doubles. It's fine. It's just, I, I figured it'd be easier. I haven't read that yet either, so I have it. We have Himoto Marichan in English in Volume 1. We have, again, another double. Most of these are doubles. I, I don't understand how I have so many um, doubles. <laughs> In English and Japanese, but I think it's just because English is just easier for me to read because I'm illiterate in Japanese, I swear. Like, I'm not very good. I can do it, but it's really still bad. So, I have Cod Kapta Sakura, um, the Tokyo Pop versions. Ooh, okay, the Tokyo Pop versions. I got it in a trade on Depop, honestly. So, yeah, we have volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Not sure why there's no five, but I don't care. I don't mind it. I'm I'm collecting the I'm starting to collect the collector's edition, so I'm not really that mad about it. I, it's just kind of cool to have some Tokyo Pop manga, you know. So yeah. And then here's another Japanese one. It's just it's random, but it's another card drop on Sakura one, and it shows the cards. I can't move this this stuff this time because there's books on top of it. So that's why. It's just this manga, and if you guys are wondering, I can't read this because I'm illiterate. I keep making that joke, but like I literally can't read it. I have no clue what the title is because I can't read the kanji. <laughs> but I got it because of the next one. Wow, I'm I'm a dumbass. I have Ebina Jan, just on a different shelf. Yeah, it's called Ne Sensei Shiranai no, and it's a romance about a mangaka, who, like a romance mangaka, who also is falling in love for the first time. It's so cute. I love the industry. I, it's amazing. This doesn't have an English adaptation, and so. I'm gonna try to read it. I, I need to read it. Like, I it's on my list. It's on top of my list of mangas I want to read from my collection. <laughs> I did do a whole video about the drama. It's one of those, like, kind of cringe romances. Basically, she's a mangaka, and he is a beautician. It's cute. It is cute. And basically, he's handsome, and she doesn't understand how he would fall for someone like her when she's a slob, and she's she literally forgets about him for days and things like that, but he loves her, and yeah, I really liked it, and so I really wanted to read the manga, so I got the manga. Again, theme here, I got the manga, this bitch did not read it, because fuck that. Ebi Nachan manga. I don't know why I have one here and then two over there, but it's fine. <laughs> and then last but not least for this, until like, I, I do have more manga, but until I reorganize, I don't know where things are, so... This is the last one for now. This is kind of, this is hard, okay? I'm sorry, it's hard. It's hard to do this. But this one is Ray Earth. Ray Earth? I can't, I cannot remember the title of this. But basically, I got recommended this by one of my friends. And it is a clamp magical girl, like uh, Isekai volume two, because I got it in a lot. So, of different manga. And I, yeah, so yes hopefully you guys enjoyed this video 
oh this last bit was a mess i'm sorry i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one goodbye